What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. Um, I was actually in the studio when I found this shit out. It's something I think you guys are gonna want to know about. Um, this is some pretty serious shit. Like, I am not happy at all. What's up to everybody watching, man? Like, right now, this is some serious shit. Like, this is no joke. Like, this shit needs to be dealt with. What up, Jason? What up, Fox? Oh, uh, and to everybody out there wondering what the fuck's going on. So, this morning I was in the studio working on some stuff for my side project for the side thing that I got going called the Immortal Prophet Project, which is like, you know, some Christian slash inspirational raps, which I'm still going to continue to do for you guys. I am going to go under that name as well. But that's more or less for like the Christian side of things and all that. Well, I get a fucking missed call from my boy Aiden, also known as Young Fox. And so I hit him up. I'm like, yo, what's going on, man? Come to find out that my fucking Twitter, my Demon King Virus Twitter account has been hacked. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I got a pretty good feeling I know who the guy is that did it. Because, and here's why. Aiden here sent me screenshots of what's being posted on my Twitter. And it's nothing good. It's nothing but fucking dirty ass pornographic bullshit that I would never post in the public eye on social media. Like, it's seriously fucked up. Like, and to whoever's hacking my shit and you're watching this, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, I never did a goddamn thing to you. So what fucking reason do you have for hacking my goddamn Twitter and posting that shit? I don't get it. Like, I did nothing to you. Not a goddamn thing. And for you to come off doing that, what gives you that right, man? Like, you know... It's fucking stupid, like, you know, I sit there and I do underground music, yes. I do horrorcore, I do crazy off-the-wall shit. I'll admit that, I do some pretty dark stuff. But what y'all motherfuckers that are hacking my Twitter just to get back at me don't realize is that dark shit is what's fucking helping people. Because I've been in those goddamn dark places in my life. I've been there. I'm trying to keep my shit clean and professional. And for you motherfuckers to come off and hack my shit and start uploading that shit, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, dude, I got a goddamn reputation to maintain. Yeah, I admit, I might not look the best. I get that. And maybe I did something to wrong you. And if you are somebody that I do know that I did wrong, I apologize for that entirely. But even if that is the case, that still does not give you the right to hack my Twitter or anybody else's Twitter. Like, dude, I fucking post shit on there for the world to see. That's where I post my music. That's where I post my therapy at. Because my music is my fucking therapy. That's what gets me fucking going. That's what gets me through the day. That's what keeps me motivated. That's what keeps me from fucking flipping lid and fucking murdering little bitches like you guys. Who want to fucking hack my shit. Like, 
Why the fuck would you do that? Like, I'm fucking sick of it. You know, I didn't do a goddamn thing to you. And for you to come off at me like that, hacking my shit, when I'm sitting down in the studio trying to record some music for my side project and whatnot, like, that's fucked up. Like, I didn't know about it until Fox had let me know. So thank you, Aiden, for filling me in, bro. I seriously appreciate that. I really do, man. But to whoever is out there who sees my Twitter, who follows me on Twitter, who sees that shit, and if you guys can't hack, please, guys, I give you full permission to hack my Twitter and find this guy. Find out where he's coming from. Like, you know? Like, this is bullshit. Like, I don't deserve this. Because one thing you guys don't realize, for those of you that are thinking about or have, or if you are the people that are hacking my Twitter, what you guys don't realize is Twitter's one of the biggest outlets for me. That's where I gain a lot of my fans from my YouTube from. That's where I gain a lot of my Facebook fans from is through Twitter. Because I find out they have Facebook, I add them, they start following me. Like Twitter is one of my biggest sources for my fan base. Any fan that is a fan of mine knows I have Twitter, knows I have Instagram. They know I have all kinds of social media. But for you to hack my fucking Twitter, what the fuck? Like, literally, the last time I was on my Demon King virus account was, like, two, three weeks ago. When I released that song, The Demon King. That was the last time I was ever on there. And I was actually going to go on there later today. And this is a fair warning to whoever hacked my account. If I go on there and I find out where you're from, and I know you, your ass will be mine and your ass will be reported to the police. This is not a joke. You're fucking with my life. You're fucking with my livelihood, with my fan base. And I'm not okay with that. Like, if I did do something to wrong you, message me. And stop fucking hacking my shit. Say something to my goddamn face. And stop being a motherfucking coward. And hacking shit. That's stupid. All that hacking shit's gonna do is catch you jail time that you don't need. Like. It's fucking ridiculous. Like. Do you not have any fucking thing better to do with your lives than to fuck with other people's lives? Now, there are a few suspects in this. One who you guys know. Alexander Odinson and his boys and what they did. Because you guys know that they attacked me all over social media. They attacked me on YouTube, on Facebook, pretty much everywhere. Suspect number two recently, Andrew Jordan, and what he said about me and his boy Dylan, and what they did. Number three, somebody you guys don't know about, this chick named Stephanie, who I was trying to date for a while, but then I wound up leaving her because, one, she was just too old for me, and two, she just didn't understand that I have a life of my own. That, you know, I have a life that I need to be doing my work. And she has, you know, started shit. She's made fake Facebooks. She's done all that shit. So those are the three suspects in question right now. So I don't know what the fuck to do here. Like... This is my fucking career on the line. 
You guys don't understand. This could potentially end my career. I could lose a lot of fans and a lot of respect and credit over this. Like, I want to know who did it. I want to know who hacked on fucking Twitter and fucked with my shit. Because, like, I'm just a music artist trying to get a paycheck and trying to make his dreams a reality and make a living off of what I do. I mean, you know, I'm just an honest, hardworking music artist who's trying to make a living off of what he does. And when you go off and mess with my social media like that, I'm not okay with that. Like, that not only affects me negatively, that affects everyone around me. Because what you guys don't realize is not only do my fans and friends see that, but so does my family. How do you think my family is going to view me now? How do you think the rest of my family is going to look at me? Like, you know? How do you think they're going to view me not just as a music artist, but as a person, if they come on the Twitter and they see that shit. What happens if my two-year-old nephew, Sean, goes on the Twitter and sees that shit? What happens if my mom, my aunt, my uncle, my sister, any of my siblings, what happens if they see that shit? What happens if my best friend, Sean Sands, when he has a kid, what happens if his kid, who is pretty much going to be my goddaughter or godson, what if they see that shit? I can't be having that. So whoever you are and you're hacking my shit, I'm warning you right now to fucking stop. I did nothing to you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want from me. If you're wanting money, I'm sorry. I don't have it. If you want to stop music, you can forget it. If you're trying to fucking put a hurting on my career, well, you kind of are already doing that. You know, you fucked with the wrong person when you did that shit. And you think I'm playing, I'm not. Everybody here knows that I keep all my social media, everything where I post, everything in the public eye, clean and, you know, good. I don't do that fucking filthy, stupid nonsense shit like what you're pulling. It's, it's ridiculous, man. Like, what's the point? But like I said, I guarantee you, I find out that I know who you are. You better believe I will be saying something to you. Like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, I did nothing too wrong you. And if I did and I do know you, I apologize. But with that being said, guys, I do have to hop off here. I am going to try to get to the bottom of this. Um, again, thank you, Aiden. Also known as Young Fox. Thank you so much for letting me know, man. I definitely appreciate it, bro. I really do. Like, 100%. I appreciate that. But as for the rest of y'all, I'll see you guys a little bit later. As I said, I have to hop off here and try to get to the bottom of this. Um, I will hit you guys back up with a new update. But with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Virus, or also known as under the name for the Sound Project, motherfucking immortal prophet. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Catch you guys later.